I don't know if you can see the uh, Starbucks behind me. Just got coffee and poop there. Hmm. I have sticky bun teeth. I still can't get over the fact that I'm not the future of women's tennis. But updating you on the ladies' finals at the French Open, in the first set, woo! Lost 1-6 to six to ha! And is down 1-2 to two in the second set. Huh! Warming up at a Trump rally in Michigan, Senate candidate John James said, the GOP is the party of civil rights. Yes, and the Nazis were the party of building beautiful synagogues, bagel delis, and dry goods stores. Trump then came on saying, Michigan has given us so many great things. The Michigan militia, world class and world class and world class anti-Semites like Henry Ford, the apples and cherries that go in my pie, seconds on pie, please. And from Detroit, the great music of Motang. Okay, clearly he meant to say Motown, but must have got mixed up with the flip side to Marvin Gaye's sexual healing. Or maybe the underside. Trump rallies have become flat out boring. There's streams of people that head for the exits because his material really hasn't changed since 2017. And since his campaign's almost out of money, he can't really afford in can't really afford to bring in Mike Huckabee to punch up the material. So everyone in the writer's room just looks the other way when he slaps Stephen Miller around. Okay, I lied. They don't look the other way. They watch in glee. If he wins, Trump promised to put an astronaut on Mars in his second term. I nominate Eric. Ground control to major dumb. Dumb. Regarding the pandemic, Trump said, We're rounding the final turn, which sounds an awful lot like kicking the bucket or buying the farm. Rounding the final turn? Isn't that how Russian hookers describe traversing Trump's girth on the road to their clients' happy ending, barely seconds after awkward greetings and salutations? Trump boasted that he saved Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman's ass after revelations of the Jamal Khashoggi murder. Trump said bin Salman told him he was innocent and stressed that the Saudis are our important trading partners before bypassing Congress to sell them $8 billion in arms. Hey, Mo, can I call you Mo? No? Oh. Hey, Mo, I've always wondered something about your people. What is that, my good friend? Do all Saudis have Audis? What? What are you talking about? You know, Audis. Belly buttons, pupics, Audis. Not innies, Audis. Saudi Audis. Where did I put that bone saw again? It was here a minute ago. Melania Trump didn't recite the Pledge of Allegiance on a 9-11 ceremony or at a 9-11 ceremony because she hadn't memorized that part of the Einstein genius English lesson tape yet. That, and she thought Trump had pardoned Rosetta Stone. Trump also doesn't know how to say the pledge because he prefers injecting and ingesting it. The President of the United States doesn't know the Pledge of Allegiance. Then again, why would he? He never accepts or he never keeps a pledge and has never bowed to allegiance to anyone, other than Putin, of course, and Colonel Sanders. I pledge allegiance, Zaza Dravye, to the secret eleven herbs and spices, and to the oligarch creditors, for which I don't stand up to. Face the nation is worse than meets the press, and the press is the enemy of all. And then Trump had the gall to say, America will never relent in pursuing terrorists that threaten our people. How about domestic terrorists? Never relent? All you do is relent. You perfected relenting. You are relenting, unrelenting, and you're relenting. You relent two times before you relent two times, and then you relent twice more. Man, I could go for a pizza. And in sports... 
After almost 90 years, the Washington football team has dropped their Redskins nickname. The NFL is now considering forcing the Detroit Lions to drop their Lions nickname and adopt a Native American one, like Settles for Field Goals, Dances with Abject Failure, and the posse of nimrods that ruined everyone's Thanksgiving before the real farting, fight, farting, before the real farting stops, before the real fighting starts at the Thanksgiving dinner table, or the real farting.